Greetings, I'm Eric Corman, and I love Washington wine. One of the coolest places to experience Washington wine is right here at Urban Enoteca. It's in a place you would never find unless you knew what you're looking for, and in a very industrial part of town here in Seattle. It is an experience. I'm looking forward to talking to some of the winemakers. There's seven wineries in here, all top notch. I'm with Carrie Shields, winemaker for Cote Bonneville. The thing about Cote Bonneville is that they are a small, I like to say boutique winery. Whenever I go to a big wine event like Taste Washington, there's this huge line at Cote Bonneville. And I always wonder, is it because the wine is spectacular, which it is, or is it because they were pouring $100 bottles of wine at, at Taste Washington? I, I can never tell exactly what it is. How do you know that you are making a wine that is worth, say, $100 a bottle? Well, one of the things that really distinguishes us is that we have one of the best sites in Washington State. We do benchmark tastings every year of wines from Washington, from California, from Bordeaux, with our Bordeaux blends, and really evaluate of wines at the price point and at the quality level that we're trying to achieve. If you're going to spend that much money, you want it to be good, you want to know the qualities there, and you want a wine that, if that's a special occasion wine, it makes your evening. And we truly believe that we over deliver at our price points. I would have to agree. I've, I've been to Napa and I've tried wines that are twice the, the cost of yours. And yours are so much better. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's, it's, it's <laughs> thank really, you. no, I, I am a big fan. Are you the head winemaker? Yes, I am. I thought so. I'm actually a retired engineer. <laughs> you are? And so I went, I went to Davis for my master's degree. No. Yeah, but I grew up drinking wine. I mean, one of the other reasons that we knew that our site was world class is that I've been drinking world class wines with my family at dinner. We did tastings with the people who really were the winemakers and fundamental, crucial in building the industry in the Yakima Valley. And we would sit around and taste all these wines blind, world class wines from other areas. And so my dad actually had a game when I was 15, or I, no, I was 17 at the time. I would come home from high school, come home from whatever I was doing in the evening when I was in high school. And my dad would hand me a glass of wine and say, Here, what is this? So those blind small yay games of, you know, name the varietal, name the vintage, name the region of the world, I did that in high school. It really is special when I get emails from people saying, you know what, I drank a bottle of your Cote Bonneville for Christmas and it really made my Christmas. Mm -hmm. That's a really special opportunity that I think there's nothing else that I would rather do. Can I try some wines? Of course, well here's, the sh here's our Chardonnay. Okay, um, and you made this one like all the other ones I would assume? Yes. Yeah, I get green apples and, and yeah, and then a little bit of lime in there. That's, that's very smooth. The 2006 Carriage House, so it's from a specific planting of Cabernet and Cabernet Franc. Uh, there's also some Merlot in that bottle. Mm. That is just nice. <laughs> Thank you. I, I, this is the kind of thing that I could drink anywhere <laughs> with anything. All of our wines are made to age. We hold on to them until we feel that they're ready to be drunk because we don't feel it's right to sell a bottle of wine to you that you have to sell her. So, um, they're good now, but they'll be even more delicious in the years to come. Well, what I like about the Washington wines is that the food has is, is got a nice punch to it, and I like fruit-forward wines, so I, I tend to drink them sooner rather than later, so the fact that you don't release them until the optimal time, that's, that's unique, actually. A lot of people do that. Carrie, thanks so much for taking the time. Well, thank you. <laughs>